Hello, this is Michael Johnson, Senior Applications Engineer with Asset Intertech. Today I'd like to demonstrate the basic capabilities of ScanWorks Boundary Scan Tests. The ScanWorks platform for embedded instruments is designed to validate, characterize, and test chips, SOCs, and printed circuit boards during prototyping, development, manufacturing, and field service phases. ScanWorks BST is a component of the ScanWorks platform. With ScanWorks BST, engineers can quickly develop IEEE 1149.1 tests to ensure proper boundary scan device operations, detect shorts and opens on I.O. nets, test memory devices, and configure programmable devices. These tests can be used during board prototyping to accelerate the board bring a process, then export it for use in manufacturing and repair facilities. I'll show you some of the basic tests you can create with ScanWorks BST. Then you'll see how easy it is to create actions to test and program your board. The test board I'm using is Asset Scan Lay 2 Demo Board. This board has a mix of boundary scan and non boundary scan devices, along with an SRAM and a NOR flash. Fault insertion switches that create open circuit conditions and shorts to power a ground have also been integrated into the Scan Lay 2. By utilizing these fault insertion switches, I can demonstrate ScanWorks' powerful fault detection and diagnostic capabilities. When you supply ScanWorks with board information, such as BSDL files and a netlist, ScanWorks analyzes your board's topology. This powerful feature of ScanWorks reduces test action creation to simply pressing the build button associated with the test you'd like to create. The first test I'll create is a scan path verify. This test verifies proper boundary scan device register operations, the length of the entire scan path, the tap signal interface to the board, and ensures there are no opens or shorts along the TDI TDO path. As you can see, our scan path verify test passed, indicating all boundary scan devices are operational, the tap signal interface is intact, and there are no shorts or opens along the TDI TDO path. Now with the use of a fault insertion switch, I'll create an open fault between the second and third boundary scan devices on the scan light 2. Using the scan path verify test, the user can pinpoint this open fault by observing the all ones pattern for the second and third boundary scan devices in the scan chain. An all ones pattern indicates an open fault. ScanWorks can also tell there's an open between these two devices when the bypass test is run using ScanWorks built-in interactive debug tool. I'll clear the fault and run the test again. Next, I'll create an interconnect test action. Interconnect test actions are used to check for shorts and opens on the board. These shorts can be detected on nets between boundary scan devices and even on nets between boundary scan and non boundary scan devices. Vector patterns applied to the nets are generated by ScanWorks with the press of the build button and are associated with your board's topology. The vector patterns are safe to be applied and provide excellent shorts and opens fault detection to the net level and to the individual pins on the board. Running the interconnect test action yields a passing result. Using a fault insertion switch, I'll create an open condition. The diagnostic message from ScanWorks indicates a failure on node test switch 3, and the logical reason for the failure is that pin U849 is likely open from the net. I'll clear the fault and run the test again. Next, I'll create a memory access verify test. Access to SRAM, DRAM, DDR, and other types of memory devices can be tested with ScanWorks. Based on the type of memory, 
Scanworks use built-in vector patterns that create read and write cycles for a thorough structural test of the nets connected to the memory's control, address, and data lines. Creating and running a memory test can be accomplished with a few mouse clicks. As you can see, the memory test passed. Using another fault insertion switch, I'll create an open fault on bit 0 of the SRAM's data bus. Scanworks will correctly identify the open net and the failing memory pin. I'll clear the fault and run the test again. Scanworks BST can configure and program a variety of programmable devices using a variety of file formats such as binary and hex files. Combining boundary scan tests along with programming actions eliminates the needs for physically moving boards from test station to a programming station. I'll create a test action that will program a NORFLASH device with a binary file. Serial vector format, or SVF files, can also be applied using Scanworks. SVF files can be used as a means of configuring programmable devices, such as FPJs and CPLDs. Using an SVF file, I'll show you how simple it is to create and run an action that applies an SVF file. Boundary scan actions, along with other Scanworks action types, can be applied in a specific order with the use of the Scanworks sequencer. I'll create and run a sequence that consists of the scan path, interconnect, memory, flash, and SVF actions. The use of these boundary scan tests and programming actions as part of an initial board test strategy would ensure that each of the boundary scan devices were operational, there were no shorts or opens on the board I.O. nets or nets associated with the memory, the flash has been programmed, and the CPLD has been configured. These boundary scan tests can also be combined with other test technologies such as IJTAG to create a complete structural and functional test solution. In summary, the value of Scanworks BST is it minimizes JTAG test development time by reusing vectors that were created to test prototypes during design or to test boards on the manufacturing line. You can isolate faults fast with diagnostics that can identify failures down to the net level or the pin level. And you can scan individual vectors, run complete test actions, or run a sequence of actions, all from a simple graphical user interface. Customers are using Scanworks BHT tools once silicon is available and placed on a board. This concludes our demonstration of our basic capabilities of this product. For more methods of improving your test covers, please review our Scanworks BHT Advanced product demo video. For more information, please contact your local salesperson or your local applications engineer. Thank you.